Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. For today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to delete a Discord message using Python requests. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. All right, so recently I actually lost access to my Discord account, so I had to create a brand new one. And because of that, I had to create a brand new Discord server. So be sure to go join my Discord server down below. And in this video, I am going to be using my API to actually show you guys how to delete a Discord message. And in order to get that API, you're going to need to join my Discord server. So be sure to go join my Discord server down in the description. And let's get on with the video. All right, so as you guys can see here, I have three different files. I have my token, which is irrelevant, doing this just to hide my actual token. We have my tutorial file, which is the file we're actually gonna be using. And this is my API right here. We're gonna be importing this into this file here in order to actually use the API. All right, we're gonna open up this file here. We're gonna edit it. Um, so in order to actually do this, we're going to import the self bot module from my API. So we're gonna do from max tan import self bot. So essentially what this is doing, if you guys are unaware of imports, essentially we're just importing the self bot module from the max tan API. And now what we can do is we can say bot is equal to self bot and the parameter self bot takes is the token and the token is going to be what we're going to read from this file in this case you can just put in your token here you don't actually need to do what i'm about to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the file token.txt we're going to set the mode to read we're going to read lines we're going to close the file we're going to replace new line with nothing for i and data Oops, I forgot a parentheses. And then we're gonna set the token to data with the index of zero. Our right, next we can set token to token, but as I said, all you need to do is put it in um, quotes like this. So you would put your token right here. You don't actually need to do this, but I'm just doing this just to hide my token for the video. All right, next what we can do is we're actually going to send a message. So in, in order to delete a message, we're actually going to need to send a message first. That was the request I got for this video. I got the request to actually send a message, then delete a message. All right, so we're just going to open up our Discord here. We can just go into my Discord here. As you guys can see, there's already a few people in here, but we're just going to open this channel here. We're gonna right click, copy the ID. So in order to do this, we're gonna need to do a bot.get channel. And this takes the parameter of the ID here. We can just set this to channel. So essentially what we have here is we just have a channel object, which is bot.getChannel. Tried to make the API as comparable to the discord.py API, um, just to make it easier for you guys to actually use it. But in my API, all the modules return the ID. So for example, if we were to send a message using the API, it's going to return the message ID. So it's not actually going to return the message object. All right, next what we need to do is we need to send a message so we're gonna set we're gonna say channel dot send message and we can just type in hey all right so essentially what this is doing is we're creating a channel and then we're sending the channel or we're sending a message in that channel saying hey so if we run this it will send the message as you guys can see here we get a 200 status code which means success and we get a hey message over here so it is fairly simple as i said before in sending a message it's going to return the message id so essentially what that means we can do is we can say message id is equal to channel dot send message hey and this is going to return the message id so the message id will be this message id or the next one that's sent so i can actually show you guys here so if we were to print message id and we were to run this we're gonna get a 200 and we're gonna get a message ID. So if we copy this, it's gonna end, it started with 108 and end with three zeros. And as you guys can see here, that is the message ID. So essentially what we're doing here is we're just grabbing the message ID. So similarly to the discord.py module, if we were to do a message or we send, set this to a message, we would just do message.id, but we are just getting it returned through the method. Next, what we can do with this is, in order to actually delete a message, we're gonna need the message ID. So similarly, we're gonna do channel.delete message, and it's going to take in the ID of the message. So in this case, it's just gonna be message ID. Essentially what this is doing is it's just sending a message and deleting it right after. So we should put an in in increment in between the message and the delete message method. So, what we can do here is we can do time.sleep, put a two second increment in between, and we just get rid of that. Just show you guys what's going on here, make this easier for you guys to see. So 
we can just run this module. We get a message and then we get the message deleted. So 204, if you guys look it up, anything in the 200s is gonna be success. So essentially we have two successes here. So it successfully sent the message and successfully deleted the message. So with my API, it is fairly simple to actually do everything. If I were not to have this, it would just be what, five lines of code. So it's fairly simple to send a message, delete a message. And there are a lot more functions in the Max10 API. If I were to show you, actually show you guys, um, you guys will see it for yourself, but I can actually open it and show you guys what's going on here. So we got a ton of um, functions here. I am adding more. So we have a get guild class, we have a get channel class, and then we have reactions as well. So it, it, there is a lot. I can show you guys how to do everything using the API. I am going to be using this API for all my future videos because it is much simpler because it also does teach you guys how to use and create your own APIs using object-oriented programming. But regardless, I am just gonna continue using the API for all my videos because it does just make the coding way easier and I can actually explain it because obviously it is my API that I've developed myself. So that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to join my Discord server or comment them down below. Uh, I will be putting this code in the description along with my API and my Discord server. So in order to actually get my API, all you have to do is join my Discord server down below and then just DM me. My Discord is up here, SRC number one. You will see me. Um, if you just go to the online and then just look for my name, just click on it, DM me, hey, send me the API real quick. I will send the API over to you and you can test this out yourself. Yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you all did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice day.